Hi, friends. I'm Emily Lay, and you're listening to The Simplified Podcast. If you're looking for a new way of living that helps you do less in order to enjoy more of your life, you've come to the right place. I want to spend the next few minutes helping you find real ways to make your life feel a bit more simple so you can focus on what truly matters most. I love good mail, don't you? If you're a fan of the Simplified Podcast, then I bet you'd love to be part of our Simplified newsletter community. When you join, you'll automatically receive our free Simplicity Challenge ebook. Plus, you'll be notified first when we launch a new product, get something back in stock, or when your favorites go on sale. On top of that, you'll also get a Simplified Post email on the first of every month with links and freebies galore. You can join all the fun at emilylay.co slash newsletter. We're deep into fall, you guys. Do you know what that means? It's the most wonderful time of the year for clothes. (laughs) Can I get an amen? The knits, the layers, the chunky scarves, the adorable boots, the gorgeous jackets and coats. When the weather turns cool, it's never been easier to look cute and put together when you go to work or do errands around town. But let me ask you this. How many times a week do you open your closet, look inside, and sigh, I have literally nothing to wear? For me, it's at least four or seven, maybe ten. I don't know. Sometimes I lose count. And it's silly because I have plenty of clothes to wear. But when it comes down to it, I know it's not the amount of clothing that's the problem. It's just I have too many choices. Have you ever heard of the paradox of choice? It's something that doesn't sound like it would be true on the surface, but when you start digging, it definitely holds up. Here's what it says. The paradox of choice happens when we have too many choices at our disposal that we literally become paralyzed and can't make a decision. One place you can see the paradox of choice in action is when you sit down to watch something with your partner. You guys flip through every streaming service you own, looking through all the lists to help you find something to watch, but it's no help at all. You can't find anything and you can feel your blood pressure begin to rise because you just want to find something to watch, but you can't. In the end, you just decide to watch a few reruns of The Office because it's comfy and familiar and you know you're going to get a good laugh. Sound familiar? Here's the thing. More options equals more choices. Your brain has to make many, many decisions. More choices for your brain equals more work for you. And you know what? More work makes you tired, and it makes you cranky. Now, let's go back to your closet for a second. Is it any wonder that we can't decide what to wear? The bottom line is, when you pare down the choices your brain has to make, your brain will make a decision a whole lot faster. And you can save your brain space for decisions that really matter without getting yourself frustrated at the beginning of your day. You guys know I love automation. I talk about this on the podcast all the time, and today I've got the best hack for you. We're going to talk about how to curate a cozy capsule wardrobe for cold weather. Doesn't that make you breathe a sigh of relief? Many of you are probably familiar with the capsule wardrobe concept, but here's how I define it. A capsule wardrobe is a small collection of high quality staple pieces, usually around 12 pieces, that you can mix and match and create timeless signature style. You could throw in a couple of pieces of trendier items to stay fresh, but that's basically it. And honestly, you'd be shocked by how much this super curated collection helps your brain and how many outfits you can get out of 12 staple pieces. Listen, this is a short and sweet episode because guess what? Clothes don't have to be complicated. But before we talk about the pieces you need to have, there's one thing you need to do to get you ready for your capsule wardrobe. You got it. Give your closet a ruthless declutter. First, take everything from your closet, including all your hanging racks, drawers, boxes, and bins, 
carefully review every item of clothing you have and decide what you're going to keep. As you decide what you're keeping, here are three guidelines you need to consider. Number one, it needs to fit. Number two, it needs to be durable. Number three, it needs to be your favorite. For any piece that doesn't fit the bill, it should be set aside for donation or sale. Aim to keep just a small percentage of the clothes you currently own, and if you follow the rules, you'll find that will happen pretty naturally. Okay, you should have a much smaller and more manageable stack of clothes to go through. Now, out of your keepers, put aside anything you might wear for cold weather and put away anything that might be out of season until the weather warms up again. So, out of these clothes that you've kept around, let's talk about how to curate a capsule wardrobe. Here are the pieces I suggest for your collection. And, spoiler alert, there's going to be a lot of layering happening here. First, you need three basic t-shirts. I like to have one t-shirt in black, one in white, and one with a pop of color, maybe something in a cute pattern or a print. This is the time to splurge on a heavier quality shirt that'll last you for a while and you can wear it underneath anything or even by itself in the summertime. A good quality t-shirt is an investment that will reap dividends. Second, you need two cardigans or lightweight sweaters. You're going to wear these with those t-shirts we just talked about. Layers are especially helpful if you're like me and live in the South, where it starts in the 50s in the morning and somehow ends up in the 80s in the afternoon. Plus, these are great for a pulled together look that's casual on a Zoom call. Third, you need three nice tops since the weather's a bit cooler now. This is the time to break out those cute, chunky knits. Don't forget, these also look super cute on Zoom while you're wearing yoga pants, just saying. <laughs> Fourth, you need two pairs of cute, comfortable pants. I would say one pair of denim and maybe a pair of dressy leggings. Make sure there's something that you can move around in. Finally, you need two pairs of cute, comfy shoes. Start off with a pair of flats or dressy sneakers. Listen, if you live in the north, you might think I'm nuts, but I live on the Gulf Coast. We can wear flats without freezing all year round. I'm very sorry. Then make sure you have a cute pair of boots or booties for when it's a little bit more chilly. And there you go. 12 staples that'll be the building blocks for your cozy capsule wardrobe. And there are a couple ways that you can dress up your look, like accessories. This is where you can add some flair to your outfit. Scarves, outerwear, jewelry. Adding one of these extra pieces helps me feel like I've brought an outfit all together. Also, makeup. When the colder weather rolls in, it's a great excuse to mix up your makeup. I talked about my makeup routine way back in episode 22, if you want to take a listen there, but try to experiment with some cooler shades of lip color or eye color. Don't forget nail polish. Cool winter jewel tones are beautiful. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Look how simple that was. You could go the extra mile and think through actual outfits you'd like to wear, but this collection is so simple that you could open up your closet door and choose something on the fly, and you won't get overwhelmed because you already know you're going to look great no matter what you choose. As we close out this episode, I would like to say a blessing for you as you leave this time together and get back into your day. I hope you remember to save energy for the decisions that matter. I hope you let yourself off the hook for the decisions that don't. And above all, I hope you're able to settle into the season ahead and enjoy the beauty of cooler days. As always, I like to leave a little tip to help you put what we've talked about today into practice. Here is your task for this week. You know all those formal dresses you have in the back of your closet? Maybe you've kept a bridesmaid dress you swore you'd wear again, but you never have. 
Or maybe you bought a cocktail dress on a whim, even though cocktail parties aren't a huge part of your life. If there are formal dresses you'll never wear again, put them in the car and take them to Goodwill. Or see if you can give them away and make someone else's day. Thank you so much for listening to the Simplified Podcast. I hope today's episode helps you streamline the season ahead so you can save your energy to make decisions on what really matters. You can find show notes for this episode at emilylay.com slash podcast, where you can check out links and resources I mentioned here, and you can shop the simplified brand of planners and products. Plus, for more simplicity tips, you can find me on Instagram at emilylay and at simplified. And guess what? Every episode of the Simplified Podcast is available on YouTube. So head on over to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash simplified by Emily Lay and subscribe today so you never miss an episode there. If you like what you heard today, then you'll love my latest book, Growing Boldly, Dare to Build a Life You Love, which is in stores right now wherever you buy books. One more thing. I hope you love this show as much as I love making it for you. If you do, would you do me a quick favor? Would you go over to your podcast provider and rate the show or even leave a review? This is a small thing that helps our show in big ways. It tells your podcast provider to put this show in the hands of more listeners who might enjoy some of these helpful tips and tricks. I really appreciate your help. Until next time, thank you so much for listening. Bye.